all I want for Christmas is you. That wasn't good. Hi guys, it's Jacek and I'm a singer and vocal coach based in Warsaw, Poland and it's been a while since I reacted to Christina Aguilera and since I'm doing uh, my Christmas performances uh, series I really wanted to include Christina in it uh, Last year or maybe this year, early this year, I reacted to her uh, Have Yourself a Merry, Merry Little Christmas with Brian McKnight um, but this time I wanted to react to her uh, with another singer, Dr. John, blues jazz pop singer and pianist. Uh, I think I remember some parts of this performance, but I'm, I'm not quite sure if I remember all of that. And she was super young and she was overdoing everything, showing her potential. So let's see what it sounds like now, after so many years of being a fan uh, and enjoying her music that she released now which is obviously Liberation and, and the tour that she did in America that was awesome I've checked every single performance uh, that she did in every city and hoping that she's gonna come to Europe and I can book the front row and hopefully give her a high five or whatever so uh, I've already done Little Mix, Morissette and Soya and she's the fourth one Christina Aguilera doing Merry Christmas Baby with Dr. John Let's check this performance of 19 or 20 year old Christina in 3, 2, 1, go! Yeah, bluesy sound as always with Christina E5 Every Christmas, baby, it shines it deep in my eyes. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not even checking the notes. No point. Same melody, but so different, you know, between the way they kind of deliver the message and song. Obviously, he, he's had a huge career since '89 when he won the first Grammy, and she's just starting her career, so she wanna show everything she's got. Oh, 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 oh,
so much. Thank you. Okay, bravo, young Christina and Dr. John. So here is the thing. It's always with the newcomers like that, you know, they want to show everything they've got, you know. Although Christina kept this style throughout her whole career, at some point she chooses not to do so many runs, uh, but she can do them so well. And I've never heard singers doing it that well. Obviously there are singers like Brian McKnight that I've mentioned before and, and Beyonce and a lot of great singers that can do runs, Tori Kelly, you know, but this is something else, like she's, she goes all over the, the, the blue scale and, and, and pentatonics as well. She does it all like in seconds and it's so accurate and so fast and that's how I learned how to do melismas from her, listening to her when I was like 13 or even 12. So I'm thankful uh, because of her I can do runs well but you know sometimes you gotta strip down you know the runs you know because when he started to sing it was kind of like this different world he was sticking to the melody and he was playing a little bit with the rhythm going like you know with a mystery and with this husky voice and, and a different type of approach in the rhythm and she was so and, hoo, 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 and so much going on, you know. It's like saying Merry Christmas to someone using three thousand notes. You know, <laughs> that's funny. But I still appreciate her abilities and and the instrument itself. You know, she showed you a lot of growls and a lot of a lot of runs, low notes, high notes, uh, softs and louds. So and she looked awesome. She's very good-looking girl. Okay, let me stop talking about Christina Aguilera. I might not be super objective because I'm a huge fan, but I feel like she is in the music mu uh, industry for a reason, and I can't wait for her to come to Europe so I can be at the front row and just waving at her all the time and throwing presents on her and stuff. Okay. And no, my friends is going to go with me because the front row tickets are so expensive, so I just gotta go by myself. So please subscribe if you wanna see more, check my other reactions. And um, it's a time to to move to the next performance. And I have three left. So the first one is going to be Mariah Carey, Joy to the World. I love the song, I used to sing it with uh, my uh, vocal group. So I know the lyrics, but I don't know the version of Mariah Carey, which is probably going to be full of whistle tones and melismas and stuff like Christina, but less bluesy. Take care guys, uh, please subscribe, bye bye.